this is my natural frizzy hair. It's super long and all mine. I'm going to start by brushing out my hair. Make sure to get all the tangles out. And I'm going to divide my hair just like this. I like to start from the bottom up. And you can use hairspray uh, before you curl it. I don't use anything. My hair is so thick. I am blessed. They hold the curls really well without anything, but you can use hairspray before. So I take my Numi wand and I, if you notice, grab the hair and go over it. So I'm curling the, the hair away from my face, not towards my face. So I go over the wand instead of under the wand. Just go over, hold it for a few seconds. I kind of wiggle it around um, and let go. Now, the bottom ones, I don't really care if they're that perfect because it's the bottom. They're going to be covered anyway as long as there's a wave so they're just not straight hair sticking out. But um, yeah, just go in sections. So take another small section out. Take not too thick of a piece, a medium piece, and just keep curling and curling and curling. What I like about the Numi one, it brings some shine to my hair. And look at how bouncy the curl is. It's awesome, but I definitely do notice a shine because look at how dull my hair is in the straight area and the shine that the Numi one gives me. Amazing. Here's a closer look of what I mean when I mean curling away from the face. Um, I think this is the most flattering look when you curl your hair. You don't want to curl uh, towards the face, the curl going in towards your face. It just kind of looks really weird. Um, so you don't want to do that. Um, I mean, you could do parts of it the opposite way but not towards the front of the, the hair the head because that will look just plain weird so look at the difference dry ugly hair and pretty bouncy hair shiny too so just keep on curling and curling surprisingly I have a lot of hair but it doesn't take super long honestly I did this in about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes and the setting on the Numi wand was at 370 degrees. Once I get to the top section of my head, um, I do get closer to the root with the curling uh, wand um, just to get a little more volume because it is going to be the top of the hair and it is going to be what's going to be really showing. The rest is the sides of the head and the bottom. so. This top part of the hair is what's going to be covering um, the rest of the hair. So you want it to look its best with volume close to the root. Um, I just kind of want like this just kind of naturally messy curly hair. This is such a fun look. I love it. It's so bouncy and I love when you can touch your hair. It's not, not, it's not like frozen hard with hairspray, but you can spray some hairspray with flexible hold just to kind of help hold curl. And yeah, this, you know what? This look actually reminds me of Tori Kelly's signature hairstyle. I noticed that because I saw her on the Grammys and I was like, wait, I've seen her hair before, her natural hair, and it kind of looks like this. Oh yeah, let's get some slow-mo action there. Cheesy. Here's the view of the back of the hair. Now I'm one to kind of like messy hair, so 
it's not super neat but I that's how I like my hair big messy fun <laughs> and you can wear hats with it looks fabulous and let's not forget the Beyonce wind okay Beyonce JLo wind <laughs> Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.